Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Alicia J and today I will be doing a Mardi Gras vlog. So you know I'm from Louisiana, you know how we get down, bro. You know how we get down. Today it is, it is February 12th, 8.59. It is February 12th. Mardi Gras is actually tomorrow, but they've been having parades like all these days, like this whole weekend, today, Monday. We off this whole school week, bro. But yeah, right now I'm about to get ready. I don't, I don't even know what to wear, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do a bun or something. Uh, I'm done with my hair. I did like a little bun. Yeah, I just gotta find an outfit and I'm gonna get back with y'all. This the outfit. I paired the two blues together. That's so why I put on these shoes and then I just put on a random graffiti. I turned on the light just in case y'all didn't really see. Like that, but yeah, this is it. Something slight. Hello vlog, we just got to New Orleans. It's like an hour and a half. It wasn't that bad, but we got stuck in the traffic. It wasn't like stuck in traffic, but like when we had got downtown, like the traffic got like yeah. bad. Right now it is 12.08. Uh, we checked and the parade does not start until 5.15, 5.30, so. We're just gonna be hanging around. We about to go get something to eat. Then we're, we might hop on the bus for the tour. If y'all didn't tell, I changed my hair too, and I actually like it better. I added a little jacket, and the colors go well together, so. Yeah, guys. Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, we try to get on a bus. Like, it's gonna be like the tour of New Orleans, even though, like, we're already kind of familiar, because, you know, Louisiana born and raised, anyway. where you'll learn the history, the culture, the architecture, all over the whole city. Um, French Quarter, Garden District, where all the beautiful old Danabella mansions are. They also point out you some You have of the like homes. a little flyer for Yeah, it? that's this one, is the next one I have. We already sold out of like five of them today. We had just got like the stuff situated for the tour, right? Um, it's, we gotta go there on 2.30 right now. It is 12.55 and we just gonna get something to eat real quick and then after that, we go right back to the place and then wait for the bus. We're walking across the street right now, guys. Oh no, the train is coming. We gotta go. Look at the train. Hello, guys. So we just came to IHOP instead. I guess I'm gonna just get some mozzarella sticks, but I think I'm gonna get a hot dog afterwards, though. Yeah, we saw that food up, bro. We made it. 226 and it, we we got kind of got lost. Like we just wait right now because the lady told us to be here by 2:30 and we are here. Um, the hot dog was really good. Well, it was, it was like a regular hot dog, but it was it was good. It's loud, but it's 3:17. We still not on the, the bus. Uh, they said it was gonna run late, even though we got here at like 2:20. I ain't lying, but we've been waiting for like an hour, dude. We haven't been doing nothing for real, bro. We went in a little gift shop and my mom jacket but I ain't really want none of that stuff up in there because it wasn't all that and I ain't want, I ain't want a jacket neither but yeah y'all like y'all they got us on a VIP bus baby VIP bus baby finally y'all we've been waiting for so long And as the manufacturing left town, the warehouses abandoned for a little while, but then eventually bought up, converted into all this modern stuff. So that's kind of what you're looking at around here, the warehouse district. Right and to your left also, by the way, on the water, you guys can get a great view of this, a big boat. That's a uh, cruise ship. This part of the river is actually so wide, it takes a half mile to get to the other side. The cruise ship, St. Charles Avenue. That's about where 80% of our parades travel. So yeah, it sounds like you figured that out already. The whole city was founded, actually where we're heading, to the French Quarter, over here, farthest to the east of downtown New Orleans, in 1718. So as a city, we've been hanging around for about 300 and 
five, six years, more or less. African people who got abducted from the Congo. And because of the Code Noir, on Sundays, this is every Sunday, 17, 1800s, they were coming out of the French Quarter, and to your right, guys, there's the back of the St. Louis Cathedral, very famous Catholic structure, I'll tell you about later on in the book. But they were coming out of here, and to your left, gathering right there. So that all ashes to ashes dust to dust. So, this next step, this could be decades later, so for the families, but uh, usually happens whenever you have another relative die. Whenever that goes on, first thing, you got to make space for the next body. So you start everything over. Come back, name plate here, down, new name at the bottom, brick and mortar back there, torn back down as well. First casket, pulled off the shelf, makes room for the next one to go up. I ain't lying though, y'all, it's really freezing, like, I regret wearing shorts, but I also don't regret it because I ain't want to be too hot either, but now I'm like shivering, like, it's like the wind just keep blowing and blowing, like, it just needs to stop. Like, come on, son, like, where you at, bro? They do, do my y'all see it behind me, but yeah, I'm gonna eat my beignets and all that. Period. The man said that this is like one of the longest places that has been serving like coffee and beignets, and I was like, that's crazy because no way they've been serving it for this long. But bruh, when I tell y'all they're playing around, it's too cold to be playing like this. Everything is outside, they got a line outside, they got a stop. So actually what you're looking at, the 11th largest lake in the United States. And actually currently today, much shockier than it normally is because of the uh, storm that hit last night, just so you guys know about that. So we made it to the area where we can uh, wait for the parade. Um, I don't know how far it is, and it is getting it is getting a little cold. Not gonna lie. So yeah, guys, we're about to just wait for the parade to come. I guess. leaving the first parade ended but we was already gonna leave at this time anyway because we only we only uh say reserve like the parking for till eight o'clock and right now it's like it was 752 when we left and y'all we just had to uh get between buku people but right when we left the parade and everybody anyway bro they jumping the barricade they're not trying to let go of the barricade all that like anyways i got a few bees yeah y'all i'm finna hit home you know it was a nice day um with 10 out of 10 would recommend yeah well, bye guys.